Hi, my name is Luke Gaddy, the NEF Operations Manager, and I'm here today to chat to you about becoming a Ground Manager. The Ground Manager is the key to a successful game day environment, but what is required to be a good Ground Manager? There are many tasks to complete before, during and after games, so a good Ground Manager needs the ability to work autonomously and to a schedule. A Ground Manager must understand the competition bylaws and regulations and use them as a foundation for their role. These are very important documents which Grand Managers should have access to on game day for quick referencing. The Grand Manager is the key administrator and organiser on game days. Therefore, an ability to form relationships with people quickly is very important. The Grand Manager is the first point of contact on game day, so they need to be a great people person and have strong customer service ethos. Often any issues during game day fall to the Grand Manager to resolve, so they must be able to identify the cause and resolve the issue quickly and fairly. So you have been rostered on as Grand Manager at one of your club's games. Congratulations! Now where do you start? The first thing a Grand Manager must do upon arriving at the ground is to complete the JLT Game Day Checklist using the JLT AFL Game Day Checklist app. The app is a pre-game inspection tool for evaluating potential risks on and around the ground. It is essential to complete the checklist to ensure players, officials and spectators are protected by the JLT insurance. This is the responsibility of the home club. Once the ground manager is confident the ground is safe to play on, it's time to set up the venue. This may include unlocking all rooms, canteen and public toilets, putting up the goalpost pads, setting up the ground manager desk and equipment and wearing the ground manager bib, putting up all ground signage, setting up interchange benches and areas, ensuring first aid equipment is accessible and the stretcher is on the field, marking out the field, checking the scoreboard is on or clearly displayed and the siren is working, greeting match day volunteers and away teams as they enter the venue. Once all teams have arrived and checked in, the ground manager is required to collect team sheets from team managers 15 minutes prior to each game, escort umpires to and from the field, provide water to the umpires during the quarter time breaks, Ensure that umpires are a no-go zone and are not to be approached by coaches, team managers or spectators. Communicate with umpires accordingly in regards to reports and any other issues that occur on game day. It's the end of a big day of footy. All the games have been played and the team's now leaving to go home. Now what does a grand manager do? A grand manager should thank all the game day volunteers and officials, pack away equipment and turn off the scoreboard, make sure the venue is tidy and left as it was found, Lock all the doors and gates and give yourself a big pat on the back for running around a football successfully. Becoming a ground manager might sound daunting, but there are other game day roles that are there to help ensure that game day runs smoothly. The ground manager should make everyone completing these roles feel very welcome. The first aid ERC role is the trained emergency response coordinator or medically qualified person that will have the necessary skills required for emergency assessment, planning, on-field injury management and response priorities. There must be an ERC qualified person at every game. The timekeeper for the game will record the start and finish of each quarter, goals and behind scored during each quarter, and the number, club and reason for any player sent from the field during the game. The timekeeper is responsible for confirming the scores and sent off information with umpires at the end of the game and handing all paperwork to the ground manager. Team managers will be responsible for their team's equipment and game day requirements and ensuring team sheets are completed and handed to umpires for review prior to the start of the game. They will also advise the grand manager of any players that may be late. The grand manager should be aware of policy and procedures. Some things to consider are extreme weather. Rain is okay, but lightning is dangerous. The national extreme weather policy will help grand managers manage these risks. Forfeits. Unfortunately, these can happen on game days but encourage teams to stick around for a scratch match. Game day behaviour. Some people are very passionate about the result of the game. It's important to ensure the passion doesn't turn into aggression or abuse. It's the ground manager's responsibility to keep everyone in check and adhere to the code of conduct. Don't be an ugly parent. Smoking. As per the Smoke Free Environment Act of 2000, smoking is banned at sports grounds and recreational areas. It's the ground manager's role that no smoking occurs. For more information, visit the AFL New South Wales ACT website or the AFL Community website. My name is Luke Gaddy. Thanks for having me. I'll see you at the footy.